Hey friends, welcome back. Now let's explore here a library in Python which allows us to extract movie information from the internet for free. So there is no need to have any API key or anything else. We can use it completely for free to extract some valuable information for specific movies, for instance, or other kinds of series should also be available. So to do this, we first need to install the library. And the library which I'm referring to is, uh, in this case, Pi IMDb, or oh, IMDb Pi actually. So if you have not installed it, you need to run the command. So pip install, and then IMDb, and there Pi. So that's basically the library. So we're using IMDb, which is a famous uh, movie uh, database on the internet. And we can actually use this specific library, which was created uh, by some very cool guys, which allows us to extract it and quite easily get some data from the IMDb database. So um, you can use pip, you can also try out Anaconda, so Conda installer and other kinds of options. So after running this, I will just comment that out so I don't need it. I already installed it. We can then import the library. So we can say from IMDB, I want to import in this case the IMDB class. So IMDB, I think it's. So we run this. And then basically, we have imported uh, the class, which we can then uh, instantiate. So you can say uh, IM is equal to IMDB, like that. Two parentheses, and we are good to go. And now, in the next line, we could then extract some data from the internet for a specific movie. And let's say uh, I have here a movie, which in this case, I will not uh, well, tell you up front what kind of movie it is, but maybe you get it. So let's say here, this is my M is equal to, equal to, and then I say I am dot get movie, get movie. Now this get movie function needs not the movie name, but the movie ID. So I will paste my ID here, this one, and I will extra extract this ID. So the information and store it in M. So just wait until the extraction is done. Okay, here we good to go. And uh, this movie or this what we extracted here is now a dictionary actually. So it contains a lot of keys and information behind those keys. So you can easily extract them using m.data because this actually contains the dictionary and then dot keys. So if you execute this, you see that these are the informations you can get from here. So what is the title of the movie, the original title and the localized title? What is the cast? the genre of the movie and the directors of the movies, the writers, producers, composers, also the plot. There's some, some plot here somewhere and other kinds of information. So also production companies, um, top rank, director, and so on. So let me maybe extract some information and uh, maybe you then can guess what kind of movie it is. So let's say here m.data and what I want is here Want to reference one of the keys and let's say I'm referencing here the director okay let's say director and then let's see what we get and we can see that the director in this case are two persons which is Lana Wachowski and Lily Wachowski so maybe you already know what kind of comp uh, what kind of movie that is maybe not uh, but I leave this up to you and just in case you figure this out then please feel free to write it in the comment section Maybe to give you an additional hint, let's also plot the outline. So using plot outline here and paste this inside and execute this. And now you can see there is a person which is a name called um, a man called Thomas Anderson, uh, who is living two lives. Uh, and also his name uh, is Neo. And there's also someone called uh, Morpheus, which is also appearing here, uh, there. So that's all I can tell you uh, for now. And now it's up to you to guess what kind of movie it is. So, okay. So that's one option to extract the data. And as you can see, all we need is actually the specific Python library. So there's no need to use any API key or anything like that. However, one issue which we currently have is of course, this currently requires some movie ID. Now, of course, the question might occur, where do we get those, those movie IDs? If you have several movies and you want to get some data regarding these options we have in here, um, we want to extract this, but how do we get the movie ID? Well, of course, now you can go to uh, the IMDb database and search for the ID, 
uh, this would be one option. But another one would be to simply search directly for the title. Because we have an option to search for the title and by searching for the title we can extract this ID. Which allows us then to get the information which we've seen here and extract the one we need. So as an example I could say I'm using uh, again my IM, my instantiated class and I can see im.search and there's a search movie. Um, there it is, search movie. This is the, uh, the method or function. And let's say I'm searching for Dune. Okay, there was a movie in 2021, uh, so uh, a short while ago, which is called Dune. And let's actually execute this and see what we get. And we see that we get several movies, including their IDs, which in this case refers to the Dune movie 2021. But there are also other, let's say, older movies. One is from 1984 or from 2000. And there are also other, uh, well, movies which include Dune in their name. So I do not know all of them, but as you can see here, uh, somewhere it's uh, related to that at least. Okay, so let's actually uh, use the first one. And as you can see, it's a Python list, so we can easily uh, use the first one. So if you extract the zero here, you would get a specific title, which is this one here, at Dune 2021, so the last one. And here you can see you got the ID. And of course, this ID can be extracted here uh, from this uh, search result and you can do this for all your movies and as soon as you have the ID you can go back in here and as you can see here you can get the information and in data in the dictionary you can find all the relevant information for your specific movie. So that's it actually for extracting data or movie information in this case from the well, from the internet using the IMDB library which is available for you. You just need to install it as I said either via pip if you do it in Jupyter Notebook, you can use the exclamation mark here and run it directly. If you do it in uh, uh, with Python, then of course you don't need to use the exclamation mark. And if you do it via Conda, then you can also try Conda install and then IMDB Pi. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So hopefully that was helpful and interesting. And if you have some interesting movies you want to look up for, then do that. Feel free to do it. And also give this video a like. I highly appreciate it. And also please consider subscribing. Uh, it would mean a lot to me, so thank you in advance. Otherwise, please stay healthy and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.